Um, so people are still coming into the room, um, but I want to first uh, introduce you to the space. Um, first, I want to introduce myself. My name is Jamie Kelly, and I am the Director of Certificate and Non-Degree Programs at the College of Liberal and Professional Studies at the University of Pennsylvania. Um, and in this session, we are going to be introducing you to the Penn LPS Online Certificate in Neuroscience, which is one of our most popular certificates. Um, and I want to start by actually showing you around the space. Um, so um, if you take a look, you'll see that this is a little bit different than um, a Zoom room that I'm sure you've had lots of meetings in. Um, we have the chat function, which I'm sure you're probably used to. Um, but something else that we'll be using during this session is the Q&A. And in the Q&A, um, we'd love for you to enter any questions that you have. And we are going to answer all of those questions at the end of this session. So again, thank you for coming. We're so happy to have you here. And um, I next want to introduce my colleague, Michael Kane. Um, Michael, whenever you're ready, um, we're happy to have you get started. Hi, I'm here. Jamie, are you able to start my video? Because it's not allowing me to start. Anytime I hit video, it says the host has stopped it. That's why I'm not able to be seen right now. Are you able to do it now? There we go. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Okay, that makes sense. Hi, yes, thank you, Jamie, and uh, welcome to the webinar. My name is Michael Kane. I'm a senior lecturer in the undergraduate neuroscience program here at Penn, and I'm uh, one of the instructors in the LPS online neuroscience certificate program. I'm the instructor of the intro course, so I get to meet almost all the students, uh, essentially all students, um, as they are required to take my course as the very first part of the program. Um, in terms of the certificate program, we wanted to introduce it to you tonight and talk about who the certificate program makes sense for. And you can see we've listed a number of different professions and a number of different um, and, uh, across a, a wide variety of, of work. And we, we believe that it, it could be useful for any and all of these people. The, the most obvious would certainly be for those working in um, related science or health professions fields, including researchers and practicing clinicians. And practicing clinicians can really mean a lot of different things. We believe it could be useful for therapists of any variety, clinical psychologists, social workers, uh, the like, um, nurses, physician extenders, nurse practitioners, as well as physicians. And we also believe people working in laboratory settings, either in the academic or in, in, in industry, would also benefit from the understanding of or how the brain works at the physiological level and how it coordinates and controls behavior. Um, but it's also for people working in fields that are tangential to neuroscience, and I believe they could also benefit from the knowledge that comes with the certificate, such as lawyers or consultants in the healthcare field, as the certificate provides a really strong foundation in basic and translational neuroscience that will allow those individuals uh, to tackle some of humanity's biggest challenges, like understanding and dealing with mental health issues, as well as uh, working with and hoping to cure uh, neurodegenerative diseases. So um, that's a little um, brief introduction to the program and who we think it makes sense for. All right. So in the, we want to then talk about how will the program benefit you? And we do believe the program can benefit you in a number of ways. And as listed here, um, it sort of opens the door for future work and other experiences in the neuroscience realm. And neuroscience is really the broadest, most vast field uh, in, in all of biology. It encompasses so much, um, not just about the brain, but also about the spinal cord, as well as other parts of the nervous system, like the peripheral nervous system. So it really encompasses so much um, of what we, uh, so much of the world in, in, in the realm of science. Um, and the program will certainly provide you a strong background in neuroscience that's, that are going to benefit people working in related fields, as well as those in the tangential fields, as we mentioned before. And the goal of the program is really to give you an understanding of the science of, of how the mind works and how the nervous system works to coordinate behavior. We, we uh, next wanted to discuss some of the uh, professional and academic outcomes for some of our recent certificate graduates. And we highlighted two recent graduates here, Kelly Rourke and Michael Huang, and wanted to talk about the, their successes with the program. So Kelly enrolled in the neuroscience certificate at Penn while completing her bachelor's degree requirements at the University of Maryland. She enrolled in the program as, as uh, already having 
been enrolled in the, in the program at University of Maryland because she found that her school did not offer the coursework and opportunities that this certificate program would offer her. She was certainly nervous about online classes, but was really impressed with the faculty and the quality of the coursework throughout the program. So using a combination of her undergraduate education, her research experiences, and the Penn Online uh, Certificate in Neuroscience, she actually published her first article in NeuroCentral, which reviewed the inflammatory model of epilepsy and articulating potential pathways for future research. And she's currently applying to PhD programs. So that's one success. Another success is that of Michael Huang, um, re recently featured here. Micah is a musician who holds a Master of Arts in Music Theory and Composition. They were always interested in the connection between cognitive science, neuroscience, and music. Micah opted to enroll in Neuro 1000, but enjoyed the course so much that they decided to complete the entire certificate program. They found the coursework challenging and well-formatted, and throughout their coursework, Micah found opportunities to incorporate neuroscience concepts and frameworks into their ongoing musical practice. They were accepted into a PhD program in creative practice and critical inquiry at Harvard University, where they can continue to explore differential, different musical traditions um, that don't always receive academic attention, styles from modern rock and electronic dance music to historic Chinese music and American vernacular music, uh, as well as, and to pursue courses outside of music studies that deepen their understanding of what music is and how people experience it. So that's a couple highlighted uh, previous students in the program and their successes uh, subsequent to the program. Okay, so the classroom experience begins with the course NUR 1000, and this is the introductory course of the program. It is the one that I am the instructor for, and this is the required course. It's the introductory course for the program, as I mentioned, and all course materials for the class are delivered through the Canvas Learning Management Software program. It's a, it's a very easy, uh, user-friendly learning LMS software that if you haven't had familiarity with, you come to the program, you get very familiar with it. There's lots of support offered as well um, to help you get up to speed for the program or uh, to the, for the software. Um, the course Neuro 1000 takes place over an eight-week accelerated time period. And on a weekly basis, students are required to do textbook readings and watch pre-recorded lecture videos on two chapters of material. Uh, they then complete weekly problem sets as well as weekly quizzes on these chapters to reinforce the learning of the material. And as part of the, the class, there's also three midterm exams that are taken online through the LMS platform in Canvas. The setting is, is intimate, and we have week, lively weekly discussion boards that promote camaraderie and collegiality uh, as, and interaction amongst all the students in the program. And the typical class size is anywhere between 20 and 50 students. We also offer an optional weekly synchronous session where I uh, can meet in, in person with the students and enjoy speaking about uh, experiences within the neuroscience field, as well as the classroom material that we're just discussing at the time. In terms of the other faculty of the program, I don't teach all the courses. We have a number of other faculty that they are all listed here. These are all my colleagues in the undergraduate neuroscience program here at Penn. And these, the, the, um, all of them have um, more than a decade of experience teaching their courses uh, here at Penn, and they've adapted these these courses for uh, online learning. And um, it's been a, a real pleasure and a, and a great learning experience to learn with and from them uh, as as we work together to to enhance the experience of the online program. In terms of the overall class offerings, the the classes that we currently offer are listed here. Any combination of four courses are required to complete the certificate program. Uh, as I mentioned before, NUR 1000 is the introduction. That is the required first course. So then you would take that course and any three of the remaining five courses in order to complete the program. Um, after taking NUR 1000, students are able to enroll in all of the courses listed here, except for NUR 4000, which is the last one on the list, psychopharmacology. Uh, that course has a prerequisite uh, of NER 2800, the autonomic pharmacology as it is required to take the NER 2800 um, to provide the background for the NER 4000. So in terms of thinking about the certificate program, asking yourself, are you ready for NER 1000? Um, we have a number of ways to prepare for the course itself. So when you actually register for NER 1000, you're going to be automatically enrolled in a mandatory neuroscience learning assessment. 
And this learning assessment is designed to gain your prior knowledge of biology, chemistry, and physics, and help you to prepare for the course. The learning assessment is designed to determine if, you, if there's any academic preparation you might need before you begin the course. So as you go through the different questions within the different fields, if you get a question wrong, you actually are sent to, uh, you're sent specific learning resources for that particular pop, uh, topic. If you're then, uh, if you are unable to pass the assessment successfully, you can still remain in the course, um, but we recommend that you consult with your advisor about the next steps. Uh, we also offer specific LPS online biology, chemistry, and physics courses that would serve as valuable prerequisites um, for NERT 1000 that, that could help you with the background material. However, these courses do not count towards their certificate program. And Jamie has put the link to a to um, those courses and the resources that we provide for all students in NOR 1000 uh, in the chat. You can see those resources over to the side. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it over to Jamie now where she can talk about the structure of the program. Thank you so much, Michael. You're welcome. Um, so as Michael mentioned, uh, these certificates are composed of four classes um, that you'll complete. Um, one of the course that's the required first course is NER 1000. Um, each course in the certificate is one course unit at the University of Pennsylvania, um, and that is equal to four credit hours at another school. Um, so the entire certificate is 16 credit hours of study. Um, in terms of the length of study, most of our students are studying part-time and complete the program in two to three semesters. Um, and these are University of Pennsylvania four credit classes. We like to make that really clear. Um, I think you already have a sense of sort of the rigor and quality of these classes. Um, this is very different from sort of self-study or a MOOC or things that you'll find online. These are pen credits that will uh, be on a University of Pennsylvania transcript and culminate in a certificate that you'll also receive from the program. Uh, each course is eight weeks, um, but it's a full course. So we're actually compressing 16 weeks into an eight week course. So you should expect to be spending 15 to 20 hours a week on each class that you take in the program. Um, and as I mentioned, part-time study is definitely the most popular. I would say that most of the students in this program are working full-time while taking classes. Um, and this program is asynchronous. Um, and so that means that there's no required live meetings, although as you heard from Michael, um, there are optional live meetings. Um, but there's something that we definitely want students to know is that even though these classes are asynchronous, they are not self-paced. There are deadlines on assignments, there are quizzes, and students are participating in the class and logging in every day or every other day. So you'll be very active in the classroom. We actually also offer an advanced certificate. So some of the students that complete the certificate stay on and take two additional classes and are also awarded an advanced certificate. I wanna talk a little bit about student support. As I mentioned, this is a University of Pennsylvania four credit certificate and you should expect to receive University of Pennsylvania resources as a student. Um, I think the key thing to know is that you are not on your own uh, in this program. In fact, the academic advisor for the certificate is here, Christina. She'll be handling the Q&A. Um, we are here to support you in your studies. Um, we offer 24-7 tech support, 24-7 tutoring. Every student has an academic advisor, and there are tremendous resources offered through our libraries, um, and that's online resources, uh, career advising, and of course, student disability services, um, making sure that your individual needs are met in the classroom. So I wanna talk a little bit about enrolling. You know, if after the Q&A, after the session, you decide 
yes, like this is absolutely um, the program that um, makes sense for me. Um, the requirements to enroll are a high school diploma or GED. Um, but I will say that having college level education in chemistry and biology um, is uh, highly, highly recommended, hence the, the learning assessment that is included um, in your class. Um, the enrollment application is very simple. There are no essays or letters of recommendation or transcripts uh, needed to be submitted. Um, but we do need some information to get you into our system um, so that you can register for courses. Um, we do require demonstrated proficiency in the English language. Um, and we are currently admitting for summer 2024 and uh, fall 2024. And I will put uh, information on how to enroll in the chat. And um, there's actually also a, a video, you might recognize my voice, uh, guiding you on how to enroll on that page. Um, we did receive in advance of this session some questions about the tuition, and we're so happy because we were planning on covering that as well. So I'm going to put uh, tuition information into the chat, and that's my last link that I was planning on including. I'm not going to overwhelm you. Um, so as I mentioned, information on tuition, it can be found on this link. It's on our website. Uh, each course in the certificate is currently $2,574. Um, and every year there is a slight increase generally in our tuition and fees, but that is our current tuition and fees. Um, and I should say that um, you only pay for the courses that you take. So if you're taking courses slowly, um, then you won't have to um, you know, pay for all of the courses at once. We like to make sure people know that. I should also mention that because this is not a degree seeking program, students are not eligible for financial aid or scholarship. But the university uh, offers two things. One is a payment plan that breaks down tuition and fees in the fall and in the spring into four or five smaller payments. That's very popular. And we also work with third party payers. A lot of people um, work with their employer to help pay for their classes. Um, and that information is also on our website. And so that is what we know that we wanted to share, but we're hoping that you have lots of questions for us. And um, I'm gonna make sure that you can see that phone number and particularly that email address at the bottom. If you have questions that are sort of particular to you that you don't wanna put in the Q&A and you wanna check in with us, please shoot us an email. And um, I'm also going to stop the recording so that we 